Have you ever wondered how artificial intelligence can revolutionize the way we communicate? Meet ChatGPT, the cutting edge language model that's changing the game. From natural language processing to conversation generation, ChatGPT is capable of understanding and responding to human language like never before. Join us as we dive into the world of ChatGPT and explore its capabilities. We wondered what an AI would say if we asked it to review a watch. So we did exactly that. And we expected it to just write a bunch of stuff about it, but after about 30 seconds, we were shocked by how good the review was. By default, the review was positive. Understandably, the Rolex was reviewed as this amazing luxury item, but what if we told it to write a negative review? Well, stick around and find out all the fun and interesting ways ChatGPT reviewed the watch. The watch we told ChatGPT to review. The watch in question is the Rolex Daytona. The watch features a round case, typically made of stainless steel or 18 karat gold with a diameter of 40 to 44 millimeters. The bezel is often made of stainless steel or gold and features a tachymetric scale which allows for the measurement of average speed. The watch has a screw down crown and pushers and is water resistant of up to 100 meters. The face of the watch typically has a black or white dial with contrasting hour markers and hands, which are luminescent for easy reading in low light. The watch is typically paired with a stainless steel or gold bracelet with a fold over clasp. Overall, the Rolex Daytona exudes a sense of luxury and elegance, while also being practical and functional for those who lead an active lifestyle. The default positive review. The AI obviously kept going for 30 seconds. And you'd be surprised by how much it can write in just 30 seconds. There's no way we could read the entire review in this video, so we decided to shorten it quite a bit. Here's what the AI said, quote, The Rolex Daytona is a luxurious and highly sought-after timepiece known for its expert craftsmanship, iconic design, and exceptional performance. It features a sleek stainless steel case and a durable oyster bracelet with a scratch-resistant sapphire crystal face that is easy to read. Its automatic movement is accurate and reliable, and it has a chronograph function for measuring elapsed time. The watch is water resistant to 100 meters, and the materials used are resistant to scratches and wear. The watch is highly collectible due to its limited availability and association with notable figures. It has a timeless design and excellent performance, making it a worthy investment for those who can afford it." End quote. Remember that we did not tell it to write a positive review. It did this by itself. So, this is probably the fairest review we have. But, science never stops, and we thought we would experiment with how it reacts if we want a negative, or maybe even a funny review. The Negative Review After reading the default review, we felt that ChatGPT had high regard for the Rolex Daytona. As a matter of fact, we do too. But, we do admit there are a few drawbacks we can think of that were not mentioned in the default review. The most significant problem with the watch is its price. Yes, luxury watches are normally quite expensive, but this one broke through the roof in 2017 and is still the most expensive watch in the world. We don't know about you, but we would want to know if a watch is expensive when we read a review about it. Another drawback is how rare it is. Considering its price, it's no surprise that there are only a limited number of watches available if someone wants to buy one. Here's the negative review. Quote, the Rolex Daytona is a luxurious and highly sought after timepiece. However, it has some drawbacks. Its high price tag may make it unattainable for many people, and its limited availability can make it difficult to find. Additionally, some people may not be impressed by its design, which can be minimalistic and may not appeal to everyone's taste. It is important to weigh the pros and cons before considering the purchase of a Rolex Daytona. End quote. This one managed to mention all the drawbacks you could think of. Now maybe the everyone not liking the minimalistic design is a bit too much. Who in their right mind, despite being able to afford the $17.8 million watch, would turn it down because it's a bit too much? What? The funny review. It took us a while to come up with this one. All we've ever looked for in a review are the positives and the negatives. Maybe a couple of other things, but we've never thought about whether the review had some humor in it. Funny. But we had an AI doing things for us for free, so why not ask it whatever comes to mind? Here's what it said, quote, The Rolex Daytona is a luxury watch that's not for the faint of heart or the light of the wallet. 
It's like the Lamborghini of watches if Lamborghinis told time. But if you're up for the challenge and the price tag, the Daytona is a real thrill. The watch is substantial, shiny, and had a chronograph function that's accurate enough to win a gold medal in the sandwich making Olympics. The real reason to buy a Rolex Daytona is for bragging rights. It's a bit like buying a sports car. You don't need it, but it's really fun to have one. But just be prepared to drop a pretty penny and have everyone asking to borrow it." End quote. Well, there you have it. That's the funny review of the Daytona. Obviously, the price tag is mentioned once or twice, and why wouldn't it be? It's ridiculous. Now, if you think these reviews are irrelevant and a waste of time, you are absolutely correct. But don't act like you haven't asked ChatGPT some weird questions just because you were bored. The sad review. Now, at this point, we're just coming up with random adjectives, but this is for the sake of science and research. We've never heard of a sad review and did not know what to expect when we asked ChatGPT to write a sad review. This is what ChatGPT came up with. Quote, in summary, the Rolex Daytona was a disappointment for the author. They had saved up for the watch, but struggled to find one in stock, and when they finally did, the price was higher than expected. The watch was uncomfortable to wear, stopped working after a couple of months, and the design was too simple for the author's taste. The author regrets the purchase and does not recommend the watch to others." End quote. As you can tell, we told it to write it in a summarized way. This is more of a summary of the review written by a customer, whereas the others were actual critical reviews of the product. It seems ChatGPT was just as confused as you probably are right now. The angry review. A well, customer review is technically still a review, so we wondered what an angry owner might have to say about the watch. Would they threaten the watch and its creators? Will they blame the watch for other events in their lives? Let's see. Quote, the reviewer expresses extreme disappointment and anger towards the Rolex Daytona, describing it as a ripoff. They had saved up for years to buy the watch, but were disappointed by the limited availability and high cost. They found the watch to be uncomfortable to wear, and it stopped working after a couple of months. Additionally, they were disappointed by the design, which they found to be too simple and minimalistic for the price paid. The reviewer regrets buying the watch and would not recommend it to anyone, describing it as a scam and a waste of money." End quote. Now, as you may notice, the angry viewer's remarks are quite similar to a sad one's. The reason behind those is that those two emotions stem from disappointment. So maybe we should have asked ChatGPT for a disappointed review. Maybe you can ask ChatGPT for a disappointing review and tell us what it said in the comments below. What we can conclude from this series of tests is that ChatGPT is a pretty big deal. It can come up with anything you want it to, no matter how preposterous the idea is. We heard someone ask us to write a speech on why Britney Spears should be the President of the United States. And if an AI can do that, it can do anything. For now, it's helping all writers around the world write articles, blogs, and scripts way quicker than before. But we've seen enough movies to know not to depend on artificial intelligence too much, right? That's it for today. If you're interested in more similar videos, we recommend our Watches That Were Made Only For Billionaires. And if you've already watched that, visit our channel by clicking on our name below. We have some very interesting videos lined up for you.